I've just finished machining uh, a couple of safety valves for my uh, seven and a quarter inch gauge uh, Romulus type loco. Uh, the pop safety valves, but uh, th these particular kind of valves, they don't usually ball uh, in a recess like your normal uh, pop pop safety valve. These use a small flat round disc which seat on a, a 30 degree cone, adjustable cone. Um, and the cones machined to a, a fine knife edge, approximately six to ten thou wide. Um, they're called Holmes pop safety valves. I, I've, I've, I made some of these many years ago for my other Romulus which I built, and the idea came from uh, an article in a very early issue of uh, Engineering in Miniature by the late Jim Ewing who was building a, a 9F in 5 inch gauge it was the Evening Star 9F he was building and it, it went into detail in uh, in manufacturing these uh, these type of uh, pop safety valve now there has been um, um, they have appeared in model engineer over the years but they've been different to what Jim Ewing described whereas this has an adjustable uh, uh, adjustable valve seating, the ones in the model engineer what I've seen uh, don't and the idea of the adjustable valve seating is that you, you get the the valve itself uh, approximately six six thou six to ten thou below the surface of the base of the uh, of the safety valve body and that forms a tiny little recess what the flat valve sits in and it's and this is what causes it to pop. It, it's, it's fairly critical actually, and, and but when you get it right, they do really pop. Um, but they're just they're constructed different to the ones uh, I've seen in Model Engineer. This is a safety valve now disassembled in its uh, separate component parts, uh, and this this is the actual valve seating, which is adjustable, as mentioned can be moved in and out until uh, it's approximately six thou below the surface of this that the actual body and the flat valve which has been lapped to almost a, not a mirror finish but a very very nice smooth surface this was lapped with different grades of emery and then finished off with super fine uh, lapping compound and it was then, I, I, I then used um, uh, metal polish like Brasso, a tiny amount and it was just, I just lapped the top of the, um, the top of the valve uh, face until, um, until we got a nice, uh, nice even finish. It only took a few, a couple of minutes really, but it was nicely polished and then that forms the seal. The back of the valve is is recessed, and the um, the uh, the point of the uh, spider then is uh, is self-centered in the in the valve. We have the spring uh, and the pepper pot top, of course, the body. the pepper pot top this uh, this is a drawing I made based on the one uh, made by Jim Ewing in engineering in miniature many years ago um, all I did was to um, upscale it for seven and a quarter inch gauge uh, this particular drawing, uh, this is for 5 inch gauge, but 
as as I say, I upscale mine for uh, for seven and a quarter inch gauge. And there's the detail of the um, the flat valve and the recess, which must be adjusted. This tiny little recess on top of the cone is approximately six thou, and that uh, it's fairly critical, is that? And that that does make a difference uh, when you're adjusting the valve. Here we see the flat valve seated on the cone in the body of the safety valve. And of course it's adjusted by the, the screw with the slot in and it moves it in and out of the body so you can get the, the dimension from the top face to the top of the uh, cone. Here we have the uh, safety valves temporary mounted on the loco, obviously not uh, screwed down. This is my uh, Romulus type loco. in the final stages now of um, finishing a few more uh, items to make and then uh, a bit, it'll be steaming time Obviously, you have to set the, uh, the va these these valves or any valve really while your engine is in steam. And uh, all, all I do is uh, I use an adapter, um, and this fits into the top plate of the the uh, dome. And it's just an ordinary ball valve, on-off ball valve. And I just um, fit the um, fit the safety valve into the adapter. And then when the engine's in steam, try the try the valve, and then if it needs adjusting, turn the ball valve off, and then take out the uh, the safety valve, and then do my adjustments, reposition it, turn back on the steam, and uh, and, and and try again. I find that it's simple and easy, really. Uh, it's better than uh, loading pressure on your boiler, and then taking your safety valve off and then having to raise pressure up again uh, and that's a simple way the nice safety valves are these and if uh, if they're done right they, they work a treat the previous safety valves I had on my previous uh, Romulus they work without any trouble no bother and they worked for a few years without any without touching them they, they were they were really good and they, they really do, did blow off suddenly and then drop suddenly and you lost very few uh, pounds pressure. They're, they're interesting to make um, and just a bit unusual. I hope you found that interesting and uh, thanks for watching.